Hello, and welcome to our broadcast. We're pleased you chose to join us today and believe that you will be rewarded for doing so. I'm David McCacken, the Marketing Product Administrator for IBM's Data Facility Storage Management Subsystem, which you may know better as DFSMS. I'm located in the San Jose Marketing Center in California. With me today are Ken Friedman, a senior programmer in the San Jose Programming Lab of IBM's General Products Division, and C.D. Larson, a storage system specialist in the Norwalk, California branch office. We're broadcasting today from New York City and are very pleased to be in a warm studio. It's cold out there. Notice that all three of us are from California and two are from the San Francisco Bay Area. Well, you know, the Bay Area has been in the news a lot lately. First, we had our major earthquake in October. And second, we had a phenomenal finish by the 49ers on Monday night against the Rams from CD's part of the state. My wife is still not talking to me because I said the game was all over at 9 o'clock. Why didn't we switch over to Murphy Brown? But at any rate, that's what happens the Bay Area is also the home of the San Jose Programming Lab, and I have some really good news to pass on to you from Lynn Yates, the lab director. Absolutely no code was broken during the recent earthquake. We, the presenters here today, and you, the audience, have something in common. We're all committed to system managed storage because it makes sense, and we're all IS professionals. System managed storage appears to many to be complex. In spite of its many benefits, and conventional wisdom might be to go slowly. Today, we're going to show you how to get started quickly and realize some early benefits while pursuing an orderly migration to an enterprise wide system managed storage solution. That process is called DFSMS Quick Start. You'll recall that DFSMS is IBM's trademark name for our storage management package of solutions. Ken Friedman will talk to you about that in a few minutes. And we've saved a lot of time at the end of the broadcast to hear your questions. Start thinking about them now. And if we haven't addressed them in our presentations this afternoon, please give us a call. But first, let me ask you this. Do you have trouble explaining system managed storage to your boss, to your spouse, your children, your barber? People you meet on the street? Well, then you ought to pay attention very closely to C.D. Larson as he shows you how he explained it to an IBM executive recently. If you've seen him give this explanation at Guide, I'm sure you'll enjoy it again. If this is your first time, you'll find this very useful in your future discussions on the subject. C.D. Thank you, David. Early this year, I was talking to an executive about IBM storage products. And we talked about 3990s and cache and tape and DASD, and he smiled and nodded. And then we turned our discussion to IBM's DFSMS product family. And he grew quieter and quieter as we talked about DFHSM and DFP and ISMF and DFDSS. And gradually I realized that he didn't have the foggiest idea what I was talking about. And that was a Friday night, and I drove home that night thinking, he's not alone. There are a lot of people who have a difficult time understanding IBM's DFSMS product family. The products are all DF this and DF that, and the names are very similar. And if you twiddle the letters on a name, you might get a totally different product. And I was thinking about that problem over the weekend while I was doing my laundry. And I came up with a new way to understand IBM's storage product family. And many of my branch's customers have seen the presentation and have said that it helps them understand more clearly what DFSMS does. And I've been asked to share that with you in the hopes that you'll have a better understanding of IBM's principles of storage management. I'd like to talk to you about socks. I have different kinds of socks. These are work socks. These are casual socks. I wear these when I go to the gym or when I go running. Now, these are special socks. These are Christmas socks. And these socks. I'm not sure what sort of socks these are. They're, they're obviously uh, designer. I, I'm not real sure where I would wear those or what I would do with them, but I, I have these socks too. And I think a lot about socks at this time of year because I get socks for Christmas from all my relatives. I never ask for socks, but I always seem to get them. 
And the problem that I have is that I take my new socks home to add to my dresser using my dresser facility product. And the problem is the drawer is already full with last year's socks. And I try and put the new socks in, and the drawer is already full, and it jams the drawer, or they fall down behind. And when you clean every six months, you find them down there. Now, there's a company out there called International Bureau Marketing, and they have a solution to my problem. And that solution is simple. Just buy more drawers. Now, that makes sense. If I have more drawers, I can put my new socks in the new drawers. But I'm not so sure I want to do that for, for two big reasons. The first reason is money. I can think of a lot more exciting things to spend my money on than more drawers for my socks. Maybe I don't have the money. The other thing is, and I think this is more important, is I'm not convinced that I really need more drawers for my socks. Now, I don't know what your sock drawer looks like at home, but mine, I've got socks in there that the other one got lost in the dryer and it hasn't had a match in 18 months, but it's still sitting there in the drawer. I've got ones where one of them is ripped or you've washed them and, and the color in a pair just doesn't quite match, you know? And they're wasting space in here, and, and maybe that space is just right there, and, and I don't really need to buy this. The other thing is there are other places where I can store my socks. One of these is the hall closet. Now, the hall closet is a little slower. I, I have to walk out and open the doors and take down blankets and heating pads and whatever's there, but there's more space. Now, there's another place where I can put my socks, and that's the garage. Now, the garage is very slow. At my house, you have to walk outside, walk across the lawn, step on snails, open the door, take down surfboards and bicycles and Christmas tree racks and whatever's there. But there's tons of space. I don't know how many socks you can put in a garage, but it's a lot, probably like 10,000 pairs or something. And it doesn't really cost anything to just throw another pair in there. So you might say that, well, the problem's solved. I don't need to buy this, because I could just put my socks that are overflowing from here into there, and it's the garage. Problem solved, right? Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. You see, socks have different properties. Work socks, they're very important to me because my manager's manager, my branch manager, lives in the same city I do. And he drives the same way to work as I do. Now, if he shows up at 8 and I show up at 9 in the morning, I don't have a good reason because I came from the same place and drove the same way. And the other important factor here is he drives a Porsche and I drive a Volkswagen. So if I can get the jump on him by getting my socks on just three seconds faster, three seconds is you know, 30 miles in a Porsche or something like that, I can really get going. So I really need my work socks to be in my dresser because this is going to slow me down having them here. And if I had my socks in the garage, my work socks, I'd never get to work on time. So these socks really need to remain in my dresser drawers. Now, casual socks, they're, they're a little different. I don't need to get to them just quite as quickly. Maybe I could have some of them in the hall closet, but I don't want them in the garage. It would just take too long. Now, Christmas socks, they're very, very interesting because I wear these an awful lot in December, but I don't wear them at all in like June, July, and August, right? Do you go to Christmas parties in June, July, and August? No. So, but in December, boy, I really need them because you're shopping and you're going all over the place. So I need them to be in the, in the dresser drawers in December. But for the rest of the year, they might as well be in the garage and not wasting space, right? Now, these socks, I got these last year for Christmas. And, and, and I'm not, obviously, I haven't worn them yet. So I'm sure they don't belong here. They probably belong here. And, and maybe I'll put them in the garage, actually, and leave them there for maybe another year. And if I don't find an occasion to wear them, maybe I will just give these to someone who can truly appreciate their, their fashion value. Now. So you can see that different socks have different properties, and there's different places where you might put them, depending on the circumstances. And making things go from, from the very fast and expensive all the way down to the very, very slow and arguably of no cost at all. I'm managing almost through a hierarchy here, from fast to slow, from expensive to cheap. Now, since I'm a highly paid IBM systems engineer, that was a joke. I'm going to hire someone to help me. And that person is the Dresser Facility Hierarchical Sock Manager, DFHSM. 
And DFHSM's job is to move my socks from here to here, from there to there, and from there to there. If this drawer starts to fill up, I'll take some socks that I haven't worn in a while and put them down here. I can still get to them, but just not quite as quickly. And I don't have to buy these. If this starts to fill up, then I take some socks that I haven't worn in, say, six months or, or three months or so, and then put those in the garage. And then if I have some socks that have been sitting in the garage for, say, two or three years, I'll just give them away or, or, or throw them away or get rid of them. Now, sometimes you want to move a whole bunch of socks very quickly from one place to another. Say the, it's, it's getting to be the cold season of the year, and you want to get rid of your running socks, those little short things, and you want to, and want to bring in the ski socks, those gray ones with the orange top. Okay, for that, I'd like somebody who can move a whole bunch, like a drawer full of socks, very, very quickly. And that person is the dresser facility drawer full of socks shipper, DFDSS, who can move a whole bunch of socks very quickly from one place to another. Now, when I was a little kid and I lived at home with my parents, I didn't have a problem with sock management because my mother did sock management for me. She would take my socks out of the dryer and ever so lovingly put these in the little, the little bundles there. And if she saw one that was torn or was whatever was wrong with it or that she just didn't like, she would just throw it away. And then I never had a problem with sock management. Now that I live by myself, I have to do my own sock management. Now the problem is sometimes my relatives come over to visit and my laundry isn't always put away properly and, and it might be all over the place. And sometimes my relatives will get a look at a pair of socks that they think is just detestable. I just really should not have that pair of socks. Now, but what if they didn't like a pair like this? And these socks are very, very important to me and they're the hit at parties. They would throw these socks away that I really wanted. So what I need is a way to protect myself from having my relatives intentionally or, or just without realizing it, getting rid of socks that are important to me. What I need is a relatives access control facility, Rack F. It'll provide me with security for my socks. I've got a lock on my garage door, lock on my house door, lock on my room door to protect my socks. Now let's turn our attention back to the sock drawer here. We had talked about the fact that there were ones in there that haven't had a match and there are ones that you know they, they haven't been set together maybe they're, they're both in the in the drawer but I don't have them together and, and there's a lot of wasted space just in the drawer so what I need is a very high speed way to go through and just sort through all my socks what I need is a dresser facility sort now David alluded to the earthquake earlier and, and we're very concerned about earthquakes particularly when we come to New York because we're, we're very afraid that when the big one comes, the whole East Coast is going to fall off into the Atlantic Ocean. And for that purpose, we need to be prepared for disaster recovery. Now, what I'd like to do, my big concern, of course, is protecting my socks. That's, that's important to me, because if my sock bag were to be destroyed, I would be in trouble. So if there's a way I could make up an alternate bag, so if this bag were ever lost, I could get it back. I could have another bag and just grab it and go. Now, since DFHSM knows where all my socks are, I could just say, well, DFHSM, make up another bag for me. So if there's ever a disaster, I can just grab it. Now, that function is called automatic bagging and recovery of socks, A-bars. Now, with all these products working together, it'd be nice to take a look at what's going on. Get a good look, a real simple way that I can just sit there and take a peek at what's going on. I like to have a real easy way to just sit, get a glimpse of it, using the interactive sock management facility, ISMF. And it's free with DFP. Using ISMF, I could say, well, how full is my sock drawer now? Maybe I have a birthday coming up, and I have 10% free space in my dresser drawer, and I know that's not going to be enough because I have a whole ton of new socks coming in. So I need to take that down to 20%. Using ISMF, I can say to DFHSM, let's get rid of some of the socks that are here and let's move them down here or down here in order to free up some more space. DFHSM is moving the socks out of here to conserve the space down to here, down to here, and perhaps getting rid of them if, if necessary. DFDSS is my high speed mover. Rack F provides security, DF Sword is my sort utility, and ABARS provides me with disaster recovery. The net result of this system is that I can avoid unnecessary purchases of new drawers. 
But when I will have to make those purchases, I'll know I need to make them, and I'll know how much I need to get, and I'll know why I need to get those, because I've made maximum use of my available resources. The other thing I'd like to be able to do with this system is take a brand new pair of socks like this and simply throw them in the top drawer and say, you manage them, system. You manage them for me. If I wear them a lot, they'll stay up here. If I don't wear them as much, they'll go into the hall closet. If I don't wear them at all, they'll go into the garage. And if I never wear them, they'll just be gotten rid of. Now that principle and all these products working together forms what IBM calls dresser facility system managed socks. And that's IBM's principles of sock management. Now back to you, David. Thanks, CD. That's a very clever analogy. You've succeeded in making alphabet soup very clear. And I've finally figured out that CD stands for creative description. Now, to the main purpose of this broadcast. DFSM Quick, DFSMS Quick Start is a project that was initiated by IBM in the United Kingdom. The International Technical Systems Center, our neighbors down the road at Santa Teresa, undertook it as a project and the presentation you see today is based on that work. By the way, if you don't have a copy of the documentation, your SE can get it for you. Today's presentation is on the marketing tools disk and it's called SMS QKSTR package. I'll do that again. SMS QKSTR package. It's on the marketing tools disk. We'll be showing the number on the quick start manual a little bit later in the broadcast. So keep a pencil handy for that too, please. DFSMS quick start is a methodology that was developed to allow MVS installations the opportunity to realize some DFSMS benefits immediately while still planning for full implementation. Let's start with an introduction and a look at the concepts from Ken Friedman. Ken. Thank you, David. 